Hi everyone, we're here to share with you five tips for setting up an in-home virtual classroom for your child. Tip one, choose the right location. Where? Living room, dining room, kitchen, or basement. Try to avoid the bedroom. Your child should go to school in one room and go home in the bedroom. If you must use the bedroom, choose a designated corner. If you have more than one child sharing a space, you may want to consider purchasing noise-canceling headphones. Tip number two, adequate lighting. Make sure there is sufficient light in the designated space to illuminate the child's face. Help the child see this facing a window or an overhead light. The strongest light source should face the child. Use a desk or a floor lamp. Turn the computer brightness up. This may drain the battery faster, so keep the computer charged close by. Tip number three, outfitting and decorating the space. Try to create a classroom-like environment. Provide students with a flat surface to write on, a desk, a table, or even a coffee table. The child should be comfortable. Make sure there is enough room for writing and spreading out materials. Proper seating. Choose a comfortable chair that is appropriate for writing. Younger children or children with disabilities may require flexible seating. The wobble, rock, or bounce of the chair may help to keep young minds alert and focused. Be consistent with where the child works each day. You should avoid changing spaces. Children love routine and thrive best when there is consistency in their lives. Tip number four, materials and supplies. The student's desk or table should not be cluttered with materials. Children should have a virtual backpack that they can go to for the materials and supplies for each class. This virtual backpack may be a storage bin, an organizer, a cabinet, or even a shoebox. Avoid having toys or electronic devices in the workspace that can be a source of distraction for your students. If the child has a problem paying attention, you should provide them with classroom-friendly fidgets, such as a kneaded eraser, fidgeting finger springs, stress balls, chair rubber bands, soothing marble fidgets, even squishy balls. Paper for doodling can also be used. These fidgets should be small enough for the child to play with, without being a source of distraction to them or others. Tip number five, daily routine. If possible, make sure the space that you choose is dedicated for schoolwork, at least from Monday to Friday, between the hours of virtual school. Space should be near enough to an adult so that the student would be able to ask for assistance. At the end of the day, have them declutter the space to be prepared for the next day. Movement breaks after 30 to 45 minutes of work should be part of the daily activities. Many schools will embed these breaks in their schedules. Use videos from YouTube such as Danger Force or Simon Says to keep them moving. Have the child take the recess break outside if possible. Students should work on homework in a comfortable place, example on the floor or even outside. It may be a good idea for them to not use their regular school space to complete homework assignments. We hope this video was helpful to you. Have an awesome school year. And I'm going to show you my T-Rex awesome shirt. Does it look cool?